crew, what's up? It's like crazy early in the morning, 5.30. <laughs> it's crazy. But anyways, last night I was really busy, had a lot going on. One got a haircut and some other stuff. I got a Supreme item in the mail in this box. Like, look at this thing, crazy sealed. So I wanted to wear the two hats or hat-ish type things that I got. I'm just gonna open them up for you now before I go to work. I like opening stuff on the channel so you guys can know it's legit because there's so many people who sell fakes or blame me for having fakes. So if I like buy this stuff on the channel and open it on the channel and everything like that, then people know it's obviously legit. So we're gonna go ahead. All right, I got my handy dandy butter knife, table knife. I guess it's not really a butter knife, it's a table knife. Good times. All right. Got our spring bag. And, oh, just the one hat? Okay, just the one hat so far, but this is uh, the one with the flaps on it. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll wait till I get the other hat to do like the <laughs> the editing of this video. And then this hat also came with some box logo stickers. Um, I I can do a close up on these tags here for you, just so you can see. Got this one in the medium large. There's some other tags on here as well. Tag. And that is about it for the tags. There's your box logo. Now I'm thinking I probably should have went for the small medium because yeah, there's like way too much room there. It's a one size and I already just tore the tag off. So now I feel really dumb because it's gonna be not as cool for people to buy. They're not gonna wanna buy it as much, but I got the wrong size, guys. <laughs> Good times, I opened it up early in the morning so that I could wear it and can't even wear it. It's not the right size. But yeah, when the balaclave comes, when it actually comes, I thought it was gonna be in that package, then I can wear that for sure at work. But anyways, y'all, um, I'll see you when I get that next Supreme item. I also gotta do the raffle, so um, yeah, we'll get back to it, but I gotta get to work. Peace. All right, everybody, day's done. Got my Supreme item in, the balaclava. I was pronouncing it wrong. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta apologize for that. Balaclava is actually how you say it. It was a new word for me. I didn't even know that existed, so yeah. And then <clears throat> before I uh, came down here, I did write down everybody's name who DM'd me to enter in the shoe drawing. And so I've got all of those inside my new hat here. And I'm gonna try and hang this bag up with the rest. There's just too many on there. I might have to put them somewhere else. Anyways, we're gonna do the drawing in just a minute at the end of the video. We'll do that. Um, if anybody wants to trade me for a small medium, let me know. I just can't believe I took the tag off before I tried it on. I don't I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, so whatever. We're gonna break into this. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thanks for keeping up with me, all that kind of stuff. Hit the like button. And let's get this Supreme item out of here. In this bag, we also got two Supreme stickers. So this was all one order. Like I ordered this balaclava. Balaclava, whatever you, balaclava, balaclava, yeah. I ordered this and this hat in the same order and I got two bags and four stickers out of the deal, so that's kind of cool. They shipped them separately, came a day apart. Anyways, let's go ahead and look closely at these labels that we got on this balaclava. There's that one. I really am thinking about wearing this at work. Um, yeah, just because it fits the color scheme. I'm outside all the time walking, testing out shoes, right? Um, and yeah, this this may be the thing that keeps me warm. So I'm gonna try it on before I take the tag off, just make sure I like it. 
Um, but before I do that, I'll show you guys the rest of the tags. Got this Polar Tech black tag. Impossible, made possible, the Supreme tag. And then the back of the Supreme tag. And then attached is this Polar Tech. On the inside of the embroidered Supreme logo, you've got some fabric there, so that's a look at that if you're trying to legit check something you want to buy. Now I'm just going to throw this on right over my head. What do you guys think? You guys like it? I know it's probably kind of weird navy with the black shirt, but my uniform is like all navy, so. And you got these things where you can tighten it. You want to get it real tight, stay nice and warm. Guard me from the wind. That's the nice thing about it. So I'll probably not have it closed all the way, all the time. But yeah, so there you go. There's a the balaclava and I'm wearing it. I don't know how it looks, if it's goofy or not. I don't really care. It's more of a necessity, like something you have to wear. I have one now and it's like this hood thing. It's got this other mask thing and it's just too much. Like this is a little less. So, and maybe like when it's really cold, I could put both of them on maybe. I don't know. Anyways. Oh, I do like it. I think it looks cool. So hopefully it looks good. Uh, leave me a comment or something and tell me about it. And yeah, let's go ahead and get to this drawing here. Now I just wrote everybody's name down on these little pieces of paper. So uh, your name is in here. If you DM me with your address and you meet the deadline of before I post this, posted this video. So I'm going to post it tonight. So today is the deadline, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I'm pulling one out here. This is the winner. It is Fester, Sean from Pennsylvania. You're the winner. I'm gonna go ahead and send those shoes out to you. NMD R2, there we go. There's the shoe. I'm gonna be sending these out to him. You can do whatever you want with them. I, honestly, you know, they're yours. They're, yeah, I've got no say. So if you wanna trade them around, it's totally up to you. You can rock them if they're your size or, you know, you could give somebody a good deal, whatever. Congratulations, Sean. But now we're gonna get into the YouVersion Bible app on my phone. It's a pretty cool app where you can just like read the Bible, read devotionals from different people and yeah, just study. So the verse I wanna read to you guys is 1 John 4 verse 20. If someone says, I love God, but hates a fellow believer, that person is a liar. For if we don't love people we can see, how can we love God whom we cannot see? Man, that verse just hits deep. I mean, maybe you guys know somebody who is kind of hating on other people who follow after God or are trying to follow the way of Jesus or things like that. <laughs> that person who is hating another human being, but them, they themselves are saying they're a Christian are totally in a very bad place. And if that's you, you need to let go of that hate of that person, whatever you gotta do to, to get over that, have some meditation sessions, whatever you need, because that's gonna stop you from really making a positive impact on the world and really showing Jesus to everyone around you. You gotta get rid of hate, you gotta get rid of all of that. Any believer, any, any fellow Christian that maybe doesn't believe the same way you do or you don't agree exactly with them, that's okay to not agree. They can have their opinion, they have their life experiences they've been through, and you've got yours. You think differently, and that's okay. We just got to come together as a unit, united under the love of Christ and how Christ loved us so much. He came to show us how much he cared, that he'll take on all of that hurt, all that bad stuff. We can lean on him for strength and be a light to everyone around us, being joyful, being positive, and all that good vibes. So, anyways, I love y'all, and uh, catch you in the next one.